So we are with Rob McClure. You are working up a storm. I am. You were amazing in Chaplin. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. And then you went on to doing Jason Robert Brown. Yeah, honeymoon in Vegas and Noises Off last year, and now just took over for Brian Darcy James and Something Rotten. Now, how is it working on that show? It's so much fun. Oh my God, the audiences lose their mind for that show. It is just a blast to do. And the cast is extraordinary, getting to play with John Cariani and Christian Borle and Heidi Blickenstaff. And, oh, so they're still uh, in the show? They're still there July 16th. They'll sort of pass on the reins to the new cast, which is Leslie Kritzer and Josh Grizzetti. Just all stars. Oh wait, who's Josh playing? He's taking over for John Cariani. Oh, Isn't that great? We're gonna get to be oh my god, I can see you two working together. <laughs> yeah, and I actually can see you both switching roles as well. I know we should do like True West and every night. Yeah, I can see that. Parts. <laughs> now, is this your first cabaret show? It is my New York City concert debut, yeah. Now, what made you take on this daunting task? Last year, right after Noise is Off, I decided to do my first concert because my good friend James Sam Cleaner, who is one of the best musicians on earth, um, was available. <laughs> so I, you know, I grabbed him and we, we at his apartment, uh, made these really great arrangements of, uh, of songs that sort of celebrate my unique influences. And, uh, and we did it, and it was a huge success out in Jersey. And then I thought, I think I'm ready, let's do it. Um, so, uh, so James is with me with a six-piece band, um, and it'll be a lot of sound in this little room, so I'm excited. <laughs> so what kind of music do you like singing? Um, it, it's a really eclectic group of music. Uh, you know, what I, you know, the, the niche I sort of ended up filling in this business is, is a unique one. Um, and I think uh, I wanted to go back and sort of trace the influences that put me in this pocket. Um, and what I found is everything from Sesame Street to Sweeney Todd. So, <laughs> so it's an eclectic group, but the thing that, t the thread that ties it all together is me. Um, so it'll be a fun night to share that path. If you had to choose a song that describes who you are, oh. what song would that be? It's the song at the end of every episode of Mr. Rogers, <laughs> which is, it's such a good feeling to know you're alive, it's such a happy feeling, you're growing inside, and when you wake up ready to say, I think I'll make a snappy new day, it's such a good feeling, a very good feeling, the feeling you know that I'll be back when the day is new, and I'll have more ideas for you, and you'll have things you'll want to talk about, and I will too. <laughs> I love that. If there was a composer that you would love to work with, oh, gosh. who would you like to work with? Tom Hyde. I mean, the only reason I, I jumped it to say, I, I would have said, oh, these are brown or blue, but I got the privilege of working with Yeah, you've with done that. Um, uh, so, Stephen Sondheim, I just, I just think his music, more than anything, is thoughtful. That there is not a black dot on the page that isn't telling story. Absolutely. Um, when are you performing at 54? It's July 1st and 2nd, Friday, Saturday night at 7 o'clock. And what would you like audiences to take away from your show? I think... Um, Sometimes I get uh, teased for my endless optimism. I get, uh, um, uh, you know, people are like, why, why are you so happy? Yeah, you chose that? Mr. Roberts, of course. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, and I think at the end of the night, I want them to go, I want them to feel like they know me better than they did when they came in, uh, and that the, that the optimism not only makes sense, but has rubbed off a little bit. Thank you. You got it.